We shall learn how to integrate JQ plots with MVC. So that the chart you saw just now, it is derived from database. These figures are stored in database and from there the chart is plotted. This will give you a very powerful edge when using when presenting reports using an uh, inside an MVC application. For this we shall use the lab there is a library available JQ plot. We shall use that library and we shall start step by step. We shall first of all download the library and then we shall study it and finally integrate it with MVC. This is the website jqplot.com jqplot.com and uh, here you'll find home, examples, docs, download, info, donate and all. So this is one of the web best websites using charts. You can plot a variety of charts here. And let us now see what is in the download section. So here we'll find uh, these downloads are listed by date. This is the release of 27th March. This is zip with GZ, BZ2. So they are available in various packages. For Windows, we can use this zip. So you'll download this package and uh, bring it to your desktop and let us see what it contains. Then we shall proceed further. So here it is. Go to jqplot.com. It is jqplot.com. So when I download it and extract it to my desktop, I get a folder dist inside it. Double clicking it, I find docs, examples, plugins and uh, some of the files are there. We go to the examples and here we can find our bar line animated. These are some of the examples that are given to us. Clicking it, it opens the same chart. So now we'll try to understand what this chart is and how it has been probably brought here and then we'll begin our in in this chart, we are seeing an x-axis 2002, 2003, 4, 5. This is for the years. Then for each year, you have one value for the line chart and one value for the bar chart. So both these charts are plotted on the same graph. So if the year is 2002, you will get one value for the bar chart, maybe dollar ten thousand two hundred, comma, one lakh something. So th there is a three coordinates available for each each chart, each bar or what you call each item, second item, third item. So for each you have three values. One is the year, the second is the value for the line, and one is value for the bar. And if we go to scroll downwards, then this is the jQuery that they have written here. So here what they say is that you should get your data in a way called S1 2002 So there is a one where called S1. It is declared here and this is the semicolon for it. There is another variable for S2 and this is the semicolon for it. So these are the two uh, variables that we have. S1 is for the I think line chart. Then this one is for the bar chart. For the line chart the values are like this. Square bracket. First coordinate. Square bracket closes, comma, second coordinate, whatever the value. 
Like this, all the values are given and a square bracket is ending here. So after all values, this is closed. This is, if this is the starting one, then you have a closing one. And inside each value is again put in square brackets, each pair of coordinates. Same story is for S2. This is the starting bracket and here is the ending bracket. Inside it you have comma separated further square brackets 2002, 10200, 2003, 10800. So there is a format that they have made. And the point is that if you are able to get these two variables somehow, then the remaining code, even if it is pasted blindly, it will generate code a chart according to these values. This is not concerned with from where you get this. Once this story is on the client browser, then the chart will be presented according to this. So when you are generating HTML from the server, you have to fit these values from there and send it to the client. So when you are sending it from there, you can derive these values from the database and generate this, H this uh, text from there, even if it is inside script. Script is after all a text. So if we can visualize it, if we want an output like this where S1 is equal to 2002, 10,000, 2003, 15,000, closing here. Then I think you can see that this is possible to generate this from MBC. How? We can write where S1 is equal to start this and then write add for each. Generate a model accordingly and inside it you can generate like a string dot format. Format then double quotes. 0, comma 1, comma the first value, comma the second value. So if you rotate this inside a for each and finally this, this is closed outside this, here you can close it. This one will match this one and this one is going to match this one. Whereas the internal values they are all going to come from the model. So if you are able to write this code into your view, then nothing is tough. So it doesn't matter where you are executing this at the rate, you can execute it in any part of your web page. You can execute it in any part of your view. You can execute it inside body. You can write this razor syntax inside the script tag. But the point is that the finished ultimate HTML has to come to the browser. So this is what we shall do here. And towards the end, they have told us about the JavaScript files that are required. So we'll bundle these into our MVC application. Then we'll put this JavaScript code there and use the model to get these values. Once everything is in place, we'll be able to generate the chart.